So if you've not um, tried out the LTI assignment type, it's also in the drop down menu there for the submission type. And when you choose external tool now, it's going to um, hide some of the features that don't work with the external tool. So there's um, things like group submission and, and things like that that don't work with the external tool because you're linking to a third party um, type of tool. But it will, this is what, the, what it looks like when you choose that. You can select any tools that are installed. And in this case, I chose from the Sugi set and I'm using Sticky Grader as my example because um, that was a good one to test with. So when you choose the, the app, um, it'll ask you to give it a description and a title. Um, now this is gonna vary depending on what app you choose. This is just specific to Sticky Grader, but if you had some other LTI tool, you would be configuring whatever tool you, it was you selected. Um, and then once you drop it in, it's gonna ask you if you wanna change the assignment title to whatever you named that LTI item. Um, in this case, sticky grader. So I said, okay, I'll do that. Um, and then down here at the bottom, um, you want, probably want to allow resubmissions. And the reason for that is because all the grading is handled in the LTI tool, that's where a lot of the feedback lives. Um, so students need a way to get back into the LTI tool to see the feedback if it's something where you're providing feedback within the tool. Um, so giving them unlimited submissions just lets them get back in there to see that whatever it was that they submitted and see your feedback in that third party tool. Um, so that's optional. It really depends on the tool, whether or not you're going to send them back to it to see anything there. Um, but if it is something like Sticky Grader where I'm actually commenting on the document itself, then I wanted that selected so that people could get in there and see those comments. Um, and I am grading it, so it is going to send it to the grade books. I, I checked those options there. And um, the cool thing about it, now I've gone in uh, as, a, as a student and submitted um, as this demo student. So as an instructor, when I go into grade, I can see in the grading list of submissions for students, I can see that there's an ungraded LTI submission there waiting for me. 